Hi everyone, this is Oscar and um, this video is going to be a, I guess you can say a beginner's intro to Oxygen Not Included. I know there's a lot of videos out there that'll review it and there's a lot of like how-to videos and stuff like that, but this is going to be a, I guess you could say, should I buy it or should I not? Or indoor, uh, I guess you could, you know, it's going to be like my experience with it since I just got it for a, a Steam sale that they had going on. So I guess we can get started on that. So Oxygen Not Included, it's a, not like a space simulator survival game. It's uh, made by Cly Entertainment. Uh, they were the ones that made uh, Don't Starve. And they also made, uh, there's a few games that are really good. They made a lot of games, they're from Canada and you should check those out if, if you like this game or like the terraria games not terraria <laughs> don't starve they're the guys who made it so they're the ones who made this game the this game i would say is pretty much anyone can play it of any age you know but i would say it's more like a pg-13 game where i mean little kids can play it it has a steep learning curve uh very entertaining a lot of detail goes into it but the thing with it is I don't I can't see like a eight year old a normal eight year old you know having the patience to learn the steep curve. A lot of kids, you know well a lot of kids that I know, um, are like into Fortnite or something quick and easy running, shooting, whatever, you know. So I mean you could say it's any age rated, but you know, mostly older, a little bit more older kids will probably get into it. And yeah, so I guess anybody could could play. There's no gross body explosions or anything crazy like that. The the game, um, it's a quick download. Doesn't take a lot of space. It's been out for I think a little bit over a year, and it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of survival, base building, you know, all the stuff that I'm reading from the screen, but. It, there's a lot of detail that goes into it. It's I played the game for about maybe I don't know 20 hours or so And I think I've had to recent maybe almost restart twice The there is a lot that goes into it that I never thought about about you know before in other games as well uh, for example uh, Some of the things that uh, I'm gonna show here in a minute are when people They need to go to the restroom, right? And in other games you never have to worry about that uh, people need to breathe people need to eat people need to be entertained they need to be safe you know they need to build things and I mean I never really thought about all those things uh, in, in a game you know um, I mean I guess you could say it's you, you know some of the sim games are kind of like that but that's mostly like I don't know nothing really like this to me I think that I would like playing this better the it does have some of the uh, similarities to Don't Starve, but the thing Don't Starve is—I mean, it, Don't Starve is its own game. Don't get me wrong; I like it too. But that one was more like, you know, I don't know. To me, I didn't when I played it, and I played it for a few hours, maybe 50 hours. I just got thrown into it. There was no tutorial. There was no hey, do this, do that. I had to figure out everything. Apparently, the darkness kills you. Oh man, I didn't know that. Um, in this game it's way different there's tutorials uh, there's a lot of detail and everything uh, it explains a lot of stuff so we'll go over that in a minute go over a bunch of stuff about the game and again this is not a how-to this is just a should you buy it or not um, one of those you know quick videos or whatever so we'll go more into that in a moment so here's an example of what I was talking about on the attention to detail the basically the the game oh, is it pause now or what? I think so. Yeah. So the game, I mean, it, there's it's pretty much detailed. A lot of everything's detailed. For example, like it tells you the amount of oxygen, if it's breathable, the temperature it tells you, hey, this is water. Um, it'll tell you the moods of these people soggy feet sore back unrested and it'll tell you if there's somebody that's sick it'll show you that they're sick 
if there's somebody that's uh, if somebody's you know puking it'll show you that they're puking if somebody has to go to the bathroom but the bathroom is broken you can see them peeing on the floor um, I've had that happen and then they peed on the floor here and it went into the water and then they were getting water from there it was kind of gross um, I just started this colony hasn't been up that long it's about I want to show you some of the detail that uh, was into this game now here you can see now these people are going crazy fast but you can see like for example Ruby okay this guy's sick he wants to go you know throw up I guess but you can see if the, if it's barely breathable the status of the air the temperature you can see the water if it's liquid the temperature the weight or volume I guess if you want to call it that and let's see okay I don't want to see that <laughs> so here for example we can see like this little insect is a shine bug this guy right here we can see has a sore back look at all that all that a full bladder he needs to go to the restroom he's sick he's cold <laughs> he's cold poor little lamb so um, let me show you some more around this thing so here I wanted to show you some more of the detail that I think is really good now the this lady here Ellie she's cleaning disinfecting things and she's hungry and she has food poisoning so you can see you see her face is green that's some really good detail also the around here there's people who needed to go to the restroom and for whatever reason didn't go or didn't make it in time or somebody was in there I don't know but they peed here on the floor so this is polluted water you see so I'm gonna have to have somebody mop that up so I have to literally have somebody mop that up now here's water where they can get water here's a, a, a oxygen maker that uses algae to create oxygen this is out an algae terrarium this is a storage thing this is a large battery uh, they use algae to make food in the beginning you have very primitive technology compared to the normal technology that I guess they could use or have access to now this might be futuristic to us but to them is very primitive for example this wheel they manually have to spin in it like a hamster to make power so that I think that's pretty funny and cool uh, the outhouse here that's what I have now and so the problem here is I've had this machine pumping out all the pollutants or whatever that's carbon dioxide that's in this habitat out to this chamber but it's full now and then I was trying to do it here but the water flooded so the water the gas can't go through and so yeah I mean this is very detailed I like the attention to detail it tells you what these element you know the ground is or water uh, muck root whatever I know I'm kind of going over but I, I, just, I was just I don't know I was like you know I was in shock I was like wow this is pretty cool so you can even assign the beds the bunks to people so everybody that snores people can snore here and bother other people I put the people that snore further away from everybody and some of these guys like these little bugs they shine and the detail is so great that when they're trying to sleep this bug will fly around and it'll wake people up because it's so bright they're trying to sleep but they can't because the damn thing's so bright in the room that's, I was like yeah that's that's pretty cool so I expect to see a lot of detail in this game that's, that's one of the things I really like about it um, on the it'll have a, a bar on the top left that'll show you uh, the stats of your of your uh, I guess, what do you want to call it the colony it, it's really advanced I'll show you. so I use a screen capture to do my recordings on my PC I just increased the capture size of it uh, to show a little bit more of the screen and I'll do that in a little bit to show more stuff once I talk about it but I just wanted to show this the game is paused right now 
so here's where you get your status messages um, you get a lot of info here and uh, a lot of times it passes by so fast I wish there was, I don't know if there's a way or maybe um, some sort of I know you get reports at the end of the each cycle you get a report for the, the day but I wish it was a way to review like the past seven cycles or, or something like that I don't know if that's a feature that I don't know how to activate or it's just something that's not there I don't know how to do that or if there's a way to do it but yeah because some of these will pass by really quick or change or go get better get worse and I wish there was a way to go back you know and be like oh yeah you know what there's a graph here showing now there is a graph for certain things like oxygen production and things like that uh, that do show you on the reports but it's like a day you know I want to see a week or a month you know stuff like that maybe I just haven't found it maybe there is a way to do it I don't know but I haven't seen it I have looked I just haven't found it so yeah I just wanted to briefly go over that the now we're gonna go over the the rest of the stuff that you get to interact with in a game so I wanted to go over some of the things that these duplicants you know experience or can do and all those things I wanted to touch on those things next basically these guys are called duplicants they're clones I just call them slaves no I'm just kidding um, I just call them my people you know and but they're called duplicants and the things you got to worry about these uh, guys is you know their people is their bodily functions trash pollution food the recreational time and their um, uh, the morale uh, the morale is really important you know I mean the foods really important and the most important thing of all is air so if they run out of air they die you know um, and the game's over when the last person dies obviously and you get once you start advancing uh, your portal this thing here or a printing pod I call, I call it a portal but the printing pod it, after so many cycles it will allow you to print a new person and each person is randomized so each time you get to print somebody the next person you print my three of them it gives you three options and then it gives you like a uh, accessory print so you can print something instead of printing a person like an item or a seed or food or whatever but you can uh, each person will be different some of them are going to be really good at cooking and cleaning and and having uh, inspiring others but they they don't have the ability to be a surgeon don't have the ability to, to clean or or don't have the ability to uh, they might pass out when they're working they just all of a sudden get really tired and go take a nap yeah people Ellie I'm looking at you Ellie her she does that uh, some of them don't have the ability to do this or that or whatever like you can actually see it here in the priorities see um, like Ellie she can't farm she can't operate anything and she really um, I take that back she can do pretty much anything this this guy's stinky he can't do any kind of research he he's basically not a, a scientist he's more like a hillbilly and he even says well I got Yoko yeah it says Yoko my bad um, Otto Otto's my man he can do a bunch of other stuff but he can't be a doctor he can't like fix people up and this lady right here she can't cook she can't decorate can't research just can't do anything but she's really good at other stuff so every one of your peoples that you print out will, will have certain traits and features that they can't really excel at and, and suck at so yeah, I guess it's the best and worst of both worlds and so yeah the there's also creatures that you have to watch out for there's kind of weird ass creatures that are like fishes some sort of land animal creatures that'll burrow um, they're little weird little aliens some of them you can trap some of them you can eat some of them you can hurt and they can hurt you um, things like that the the food will start off with algae you have to you know produce it you have to dig for it they'll turn it into food bricks or in an air so you really need it you need ores to make stuff and then you have to build a research station which we'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute but that'll allow you to build even more stuff so you progress from there the so there's science involved and we'll get into that more in a minute so 
yeah so they gotta stay healthy so they have they have the ability to research food stuff you know they can do meal preparation that like make some have the ability to build electric grills fridges you know stuff like that and they'll they'll pick up food but that's on the floor like they'll like the machine they, if they run out of space to put food in they'll just start throwing things on the floor they're crazy they'll start eating things off the floor they'll start peeing on the floor the restroom's broken things like that they'll start throwing trash everywhere and uh, they'll start getting sick too because there's germs everywhere so if too many germs start getting on things you'll get food sick uh, sickness they'll start getting sick they'll start coughing throwing up so that you got to watch out for stuff like that especially like food poisoning um now there's buildings that you can build and these buildings uh, you can research to build new things for so the like one of the things you can build um is i guess i guess i can say buildings but they're more like stations so like for example this station is my research station that's the only thing i can do right now but from that i can open up a tree and research a lot of stuff see this is zoomed out i didn't i didn't know about this we have to, if you have a wheel you have to zoom out with your mouse wheel or some i don't know how to do it with the keyboard but and then you just scroll with the mouse to see the stuff you can research so there's your tree researching these things has to be done by somebody that can research so if one of your dudes if you have some hillbillies that don't know or can't do research then you're not gonna be able to research so you gotta make sure you you print people that are good at science so you can research these trees and that allows you to build better things you know stuff like that it'll progress from there i think that's pretty cool so yeah that's how that goes now the I wish I would have known that to get out of here or to get into here you have to zoom in and out but you know whatever I figured it out <laughs> now I'm gonna go over everything else basically so yeah I was mentioning earlier you have to get minerals to basically build everything there's um oh you know minerals like copper um there's you know raw there's raw minerals there's raw metals gases plants liquids solids blah 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 but you have to get a bunch of different minerals you know like copper ore iron ore there's gold there's something called wolframite or something like that you also have to worry about the environment there's carbon dioxide pockets there's breathable gases there's flammable gases all kinds of environmental dangers there's also plants you can grow plants you can cultivate you can uh, do all agricultural stuff get food from that there's all kinds of little plants the um, you have to um, like I said you have to g gather all these raw minerals metals and gases um, to create stuff you know like power grow food you know plumbing ventilation medicine furniture stations to do all kinds of stuff uh, utilities like power air there's also automation you can do automation a lot of things auto and or programming and stuff and uh, things like that uh, you can also do shipping where you can ship things to other sides of your colony and sorry my girlfriend keeps texting me and there's rocketry so they i guess the end goal is to gather enough parts or whatever do enough research to build a rocket and get the hell out of here so you end up here that's the goal of the game really do really um so yeah the i guess the last thing i want to talk about is the research so you need to do research to continue in the game so there's a lot of things that um that research opens up like plumbing a lot of things have to be fed by pipes or electrical stuff like that and a lot of stuff is taken care of by research like power utility stations and the core so yeah it's a very good game i highly recommend it i think i spent like what 10 bucks for like six ten bucks or something for it it was i would have spent double that maybe even triple that no i'm i'll be comfortable around 20 bucks uh, for it it's a really good game it's a single player game so you can't really play with your friends or nothing like that but it's it, it's 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 really good um if you have any questions let me know 
this was a, just a quick video of if you should buy or not or parents if you should buy for your kids if they're into games like this definitely get it it's, like i said it's kid friendly for a certain age i guess uh, if you have any questions let me know just um, leave a comment um, if you liked the video give me a like if you disliked it give it a dislike uh, comments whatever leave a comment if i missed anything important let me know i think i covered overall everything that you you're gonna need like i said it's not a how-to video and i did kind of ramble on a little bit i just love this game i'm excited about it so uh don't forget to subscribe follow love you bye